China is facing a surge in infections caused by a respiratory virus, sparking concerns of overcrowded hospitals and memories of the early days of the COVID-19 pandemic. The virus, human metapneumovirus, or HMPV, is spreading rapidly across northern Chinese provinces, particularly affecting children, as colder weather fuels its transmission. Human metapneumovirus is not a new virus. It was first identified in 2001. Since then, cases have been reported worldwide. So, why is it making headlines now? Photos and videos of masked crowds in hospitals have emerged, while health authorities implement new measures to monitor pneumonia cases of unknown origin. Countries like Taiwan and Cambodia are issuing warnings, highlighting the risks for children, the elderly, and those with weakened immune systems. Malaysia has also been experiencing a notable increase in HMPV cases. In this video, we'll discuss everything you need to know about human metapneumovirus, including the symptoms and causes of this virus, how it's transmitted and who is most at risk, and how to manage and treat it if it spreads in your area. Before we deep dive into the video, make sure to like this video. Your support helps us reach more people who need this information. So, what exactly is HMPV? Think of it as a sneaky sibling of the common cold. This virus usually targets your upper respiratory system, causing symptoms like a runny nose, cough, or sore throat. But, and here's where it gets serious, it can also dive deeper into your lungs, leading to conditions like pneumonia or even asthma flare-ups. For those with chronic conditions like COPD, HMPV can make things much worse. The virus is more active during the colder months, especially in winter and early spring when respiratory infections tend to spread more easily due to increased indoor activity and close contact. Most people are exposed to HMPV at a very young age, often before the age of five. While it's possible to get reinfected later in life, these subsequent infections are typically milder as the immune system retains some memory of the virus. At first glance, human metapneumovirus might seem like just another common cold. After all, it often comes with the same symptoms, runny nose, cough, and congestion. But don't be mistaken, for some people, HMPV can cause much more serious illness. The first time you encounter HMPV, your immune system isn't prepared, which is why young children are especially vulnerable. Severe cases can lead to complications like pneumonia or difficulty breathing, requiring medical attention. Older adults, particularly those over 65, and individuals with pre-existing breathing problems or weakened immune systems are also at higher risk. For them, HMPV can be far more than just a mild illness. It can become a serious health concern. HMPV is often compared to another respiratory virus, RSV, respiratory syncytial virus. While they are not the same, they belong to the same scientific group known as the pneumovirus genus, and they share several similarities in the way they affect the body. Both viruses can cause similar symptoms, such as cough, fever, and breathing difficulties, and both are more dangerous for young children, older adults, and those with weakened immune systems. However, there are key differences. Severe illness from HMPV is most common in children between 6 and 12 months old. RSV, on the other hand, tends to have a greater impact on infants younger than 6 months. The symptoms of human metapneumovirus can range from mild to severe and often overlap with other respiratory illnesses, making it tricky to distinguish. Human metapneumovirus spreads easily from person to person, much like other respiratory viruses. The primary ways it's transmitted include coughing and sneezing. Tiny droplets containing the virus can travel through the air and infect others nearby. Direct contact. Actions like shaking hands, hugging, or kissing someone infected can pass the virus. Touching contaminated surfaces. Objects like phones, door handles, keyboards, or toys can harbor the virus. If you touch these surfaces and then touch your face, particularly your mouth, nose, or eyes, you increase your risk of infection. 
This is why good hygiene, like washing your hands frequently and disinfecting commonly touched objects, is so critical in preventing the spread of HMPV. Currently, there are no specific antiviral medications to treat human metapneumovirus. Most people can manage their symptoms at home by getting plenty of rest, staying hydrated, and using over-the-counter medications to relieve discomfort like fever or a sore throat. However, in severe cases, particularly for young children, older adults, or those with weakened immune systems, hospitalization may be necessary. In a hospital, healthcare providers can closely monitor the condition and provide treatments to prevent complications. Treatment in severe cases might include oxygen therapy, IV fluids, corticosteroids. While these treatments don't cure the virus itself, they play a critical role in managing symptoms and supporting recovery for those most at risk. While there's no vaccine to prevent human metapneumovirus, you can take steps to significantly reduce your risk of infection. Here are some effective prevention strategies. Wash your hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. If soap and water aren't available, use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Cover your nose and mouth when you cough or sneeze, preferably with your elbow or a tissue, never your bare hand. Avoid close contact with people who are sick and stay home if you're feeling unwell to prevent spreading the virus to others. If you're sick and can't avoid being around others, consider wearing a mask to minimize the risk of transmission. Refrain from touching your face, especially your eyes, nose, and mouth, as this is how viruses often enter the body. Don't share food, drinks, or eating utensils like forks, spoons, and cups with others. Human metapneumovirus and COVID-19 share several similarities. Both are respiratory viruses that can cause symptoms like coughing, fever, congestion, sore throat, and shortness of breath. They also spread through respiratory droplets, making close contact a significant risk factor for transmission. However, there are important differences. HMPV typically peaks during the colder months, winter and spring, while COVID-19, fueled by evolving variants, has shown the ability to spread year-round. Interestingly, studies have observed a surge in HMPV cases after COVID-19 restrictions were lifted. In some regions, cases tripled. This sudden increase is believed to be linked to weakened immunity caused by reduced exposure to viruses during lockdowns. This trend underscores how public health dynamics can shift rapidly when community-wide precautions are introduced or removed. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with others who might benefit from this information. And if you have any questions or thoughts, leave a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe for more updates and insights on health-related topics. Stay safe and we'll see you in the next video.